What is going on, YouTube? It's your hobby hound, woof woof. Uh, doing a return series. This one I didn't expect, but when I ordered from Blowout Cards, somehow I had these still in my um, shopping cart. So, hey, let's just do another series of the Super Bowl. Um, this is the 2020 packs that I opened just before the, the Super Bowl. Actually, kind of around the time the Super Bowl had so much going on that it released way after the Super Bowl. So it was one pack of, I guess a, a, it's two packs, but the 15 card bonus pack of Mosaic for 2020. So I got two of those. I'm gonna set those to the side here after opening those. And three packs of the Absolute 2020 um, value packs. I think if I remember correctly, I had the best luck from the value packs. Um, so let's go ahead and start with those. <clears throat> so this is just a loaded rookie set, um, obviously. There's some of the greens that come in here. I got Stefan Diggs and Kyler Murray. Flip that one around. These are two foil cards. We've got Derrick Henry, Stargazing, and Christian Fulton, which is, that's the green version. And then Introductions, T. Higgins. Followed by the rookies, we've got Clyde edwards Hilar, Kyle Duggar, Devin DuVernay, Ross Blaylock, James Morgan, Antonio Gordon, or is that Anthony? Anthony Gordon, Jordan Brooks, and Colin Johnson. So I'm not 100% familiar with any, you know, there's a few that I am, but obviously there's some flash in the pans in there as well that maybe not even on the teams anymore. So it's a tough thing to do to make the NFL roster. Same with MLB. Matthew Stafford. There's green Dev, Devin Asia. I don't even know how you say that. There's Aaron Jones, Adrian Peterson, you got T. Higgins, cover, cover boy of the. Uh, was it on the box? Yeah, James Prochet, Anthony McFarland Jr., Josh Ushi, Dalton Keene. Steven Montez, Gabriel Davis, and Trevon Diggs. So decent there. That definitely got better. So let's go ahead and open up two of these. We'll leave the bonus packs for the very last. Last time I think I forgot to even open the bonus packs, which is funny because uh, they tend to have some good stuff in it. If I remember correctly, there was nothing good in them, though. Josh Jacobs, green. We got Christian McCaffrey, touchdown Masters, and a DeAndre Swift rookie. <clears throat> Letting the natural sunlight in this morning. It's pretty bright, though. I'm having a hard time seeing the cards like I normally would. Will to win with Jerry Rice. And a Jordan Love rookie debut or NFL debut. Yeah, I'm blind right now. There's a Tom Brady. Kareem Hunt. And KJ Hamler. So, so far, no Prism rookies or anything like that. None of the rookies or the, the hot rookies. Which you can't always expect that. That's pretty cool. Old school. Look at that stained glass behind him. That is just really cool looking. Dan Marino, or Tan Marino, as I called him as a kid, because he always had a, a sun tan, <laughs> like just dark, dark tanned. So that's a, just a regular prism, but I think it'd be like a fractal one, but it's really cool. And then Aaron Rodgers, and a kid reporter. All right, final absolute pack. 
of the Rogers. Some green, and there's no Rogers green. We got uh, Jarrett Stedham. Got a green, who's that? Raekwon Davis, Chase Young, Ryan Tannehill. And here's the rookie section. Joshua Kelly, Damon Arnett, Marlon Davidson, Grant Delpit, Tua, Javon Kinlaw. That's probably my first Tua. I don't think I have any other ones. <clears throat> and Desmond Patman. So kind of uneventful on those. Definitely not <laughs> nothing compared to the price that's paid for them. It might be a little bit less now that it wasn't Super Bowl time, but I'll have to check. So here's the pink bonus packs. We got Herman Moore, followed by Eddie George and Kenny Galladay Pro Bowl. So none of the rookies so far that I was hoping for, but hey, there's a nice Pepe. Peyton Manning, Miles Sanders, and Cam Akers, rookie. That's not bad. So that was my return to the Super Bowl. Obviously, we're pretty far out from that now. Um, but it was still, you know, I was still trying to uh, get some good rookies from the 2020 set. I didn't open a lot of the 2020, being that it was just so difficult to find in the retail spaces last year because um, there were so many flippers that were just buying it up the minute that it came out. Um, it was too... It still is for certain products like basketball and football. I mean, you know, you'll see people that get there early to buy their prism or whatever um, for forty bucks and turn around and sell it to a shop for eighty. Then the shop sells it for one twenty-five. So um, everybody's making money on that, and the only person not making any money is the people trying to get it that end up having to buy a retail product in a hobby store. So I, not to say that I have an opinion anyway, because it's all supply and demand. Um, so kudos to them for doing that and finding something that they can make money off of. But those vultures, as some people call them, won't be around forever because there won't be a way for them to make that kind of money constantly. Um, being at supply and demand, people may not demand to, to get them. They might just stop buying them. Um, the problem with that is obviously the gambling aspect of it where people kind of gamble to get the card and that will never change. People will always be gambling. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that changes or if it gets better. I just know that it's still difficult even when I go to Walmart or Target to find anything. Um, all the good stuff is gone. So I have to kind of go for whatever the flippers don't want or they can't make a lot of money on. So it's products that maybe I'm buying at 40 and if you look on eBay, they're selling for 45. So flippers aren't going to go crazy over making a $5 profit. They want to make like twice their money or more. All right. Enough of my rant. Put in the comments how you feel about people who do that. I mean, what what, do, what is your stance? Because I know that a lot of people who watch videos on YouTube are actual flippers. So um, I, I'm not trying to even though I may sound like it, judge. Because like I said, everybody can make money off the hobby. It's just, um, is it the right amount? And currently has demand set the prices so high that it's expected now? Or as every year it's expected, even though supply and demand may not be the same, it's just more now the price is a price set in once it's set, they know they can charge that amount again. So, um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. I'm curious as to both sides. Um, and please do not attack anybody for having an opinion in the comments. I'm sure that everybody knows better than to do that because we were an accepting card community where we accept people, whoever they are, because uh, we're all in the hobby together. All right, guys, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you have time. And check out the 500 sub video that I have up. Um, 
I think we're like 60 away from hitting that mark and hoping to do that by the end of the month so that we can give away the prizes. Take care, everyone.